last year you, you missed the Texas game, you had the injury, so what is it going to feel like getting to play against him this year? I mean, it's, that's actually something that I always dream about playing against Texas growing up from Oklahoma, you know, and I never actually played Texas since I've been at KU, so it's going to be fun. Now, when, when you grew up in Oklahoma, obviously, I don't, I don't know where exactly you're split, but there's a lot of Texas fans, Oklahoma fans. Were, were you a fan of, of either school or anything growing up? Uh, not really. I mean, I was more of an OU, o, OSU fan, but uh, I supported OU. I did not, like, dislike them. You know, if they was going for against somebody, I probably went for them. But, so yeah. then you've always had a little, little bit of Texas dislike in you. Uh, I never disliked them either. It was just like, you know, OU versus Texas. That's always what you see. And, you know, that's being from Oklahoma. That's a team you would love to beat. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it's just a dream that I always see. In terms of the experience you guys have on this team, how does that help you prepare when you're going into a tough place to play like Austin? Uh, I think the experience is pretty good, but the coach is like, from day one, I think anybody can really jump in and do what if they got the abilities to do it. Anybody we put in there can do it, whether it's a freshman, sophomore, or if they haven't played a snap yet. I think anybody really got the ability because they prepare us so much. It's, it's like you feel like you got experience before you even hit a game. You kept stiff arming guys on Saturday. Do you feel like you have the best stiff arm on the team? <laughs> I feel like I just got a good stiff arm, you know what I'm saying? I think a lot of our running backs, especially some of the ones that don't even play, got great stiff arms. You know, I know Duffy, Death do, Dev do, all of them. So, I mean, I wouldn't say I got the best stiff arm, but I know I got a good one. I, I think there was a play where you rocked someone in pass coverage and or in uh, pass protection. Uh, how important is that as a running back in, in what you guys are doing out there? Uh, I think that's really one of the most important things for a running back probably like top two, top three, because we're like the last line of defense before they get to the QB on those certain, certain things. So like that's very important to my coach, make sure we emphasize those things. Do you have a favorite thing to do off the field? Uh, I like playing a game with all my teammates, but specifically my teammates, you know what I'm saying? So they come back to the locker room, we can talk and to each other. You, know what I'm saying? you look at this Texas defensive line and you just you know, how big and physical they are. You know, they've done a great job stopping the run. How do you come out and do the success that you've had against BYU and other teams who have had good defensive uh, I mean, we just go out there and do what we do. I mean, it doesn't really matter who it is, you know. If they physical, we're going to be physical. You know what I'm saying? Even if they're not physical, we're still going to be physical. So, I mean, yeah, they got some great players, though. I, love, I like their defense and I like their offense. But, you know, we going to go and do what we do. Kind of back to that preparation piece. Coach mentioned that you guys turn the music up in practice, you know, kind of to prep for those opposing crowds. I mean, how's that help you guys? Well, it, it hurts my head during practice. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. But, uh... I think it helps us a lot, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of times a lot of people don't get that practice in to get into the stadium and really hear the crowd, you know, and the, some crowd noise can affect some people, so it just helps us just drown it out, so now we're so used to it, we ain't really hearing the crowd. Yeah, absolutely, and I mean, it's maybe that a little bit different heading into a place like Texas, I mean, what emotions are there, like, does that contribute to the rivalry, that crowd, anything like that? Uh, you know, I don't really think, I wouldn't really call it a rivalry, I would just say it's a big game, every game's a big game, but, uh, like I said, I've never been to Texas Stadium, so I never got to experience the crowd, but I know it's going to be a lot of crowds, so, but we're going to be ready for it because our crowd gets pretty loud here too. Coach K mentioned eliminating some of those early mistakes or miscues, especially on some of those first offensive series of a game. Just for you guys, how important is it to get off to a really fast and good start against such a good team in Texas? Um, I think it's really important to get off a fast start against any team, you know, not just Texas, it's any football team go out there and play. You know what I'm saying? Going off slow can affect any game, whether it's Texas, Bama, OU, shoot, Iowa State. It doesn't matter who it is. You want to start fast every time. That's usually what our offense can do. So, you know, I think it's very important every single game.